The year was 1969. Ivy Olson, a recently divorced and struggling young mother, was moving into a modest one-bedroom apartment with her two sons. Money was tight, and Ivy had trouble making ends meet, even with her job in a doctor's office. Her situation became particularly troubling during the holidays. One of the hardest Thanksgivings I ever have had was Thanksgiving after I was divorced. Waking up for Thanksgiving, realizing that nobody had provided us to their home. The only food we had in the home were three hot dogs. And it was, it was an overwhelming feeling of, what have I gotten into? And how am I going to get out of this? I was down. I really felt despair. <laughs> Ivy put on a brave face for her children and took them to a local park, hoping that the boys would have a fun day, even if they couldn't have a real Thanksgiving dinner. Coming back from our little picnic, though, I can remember the boys saying, Mom, we're so hungry. And I knew there was absolutely no money, no food, nothing. I don't think I've ever felt so alone as I did coming back, wondering, how are we going to do this? How am I going to do this? But as she started up the stairs to her apartment, something Honey. incredible occurred. Honey. And this little old lady came out of the uh, bottom apartment and she says, oh, honey, I cooked Thanksgiving dinner for you and the boys. And I'm just looking at her. I'd never seen her before. It was just a complete stranger. Oh, no, we couldn't impose. But the woman was so insistent that they join her for dinner that Ivy couldn't refuse. Okay. Thank you. So much. The woman's invitation was a prayer answered. Entering the apartment, Ivy felt immediately at home. And it was all dimly lit, and the kitchen table was just loaded with food, and she was just so incredibly sweet. See, we're gonna have to carve a turkey. Her presence was like electricity. She had a sparkle in her eyes. There was life in her. You know how in the presence of some people you feel so absolutely comfortable? That was what she created that evening for us. Food, yes, lots of it. But for me and the loneliness that I felt, what she gave to me was unconditional love. And it was just one of the most special evenings that I have ever spent in my whole life. As Ivy and her sons were leaving, the neighbor presented them each with a gift. Thank you so much. But they also left with something they desperately needed. Food. Loads of uh, leftovers. I mean, we have food for a week. If you can compare how I started in the morning with that total feeling of despair and loneliness and not good enough, to ending up feeling I'm okay, I'm worthwhile, I'm a good mom. It was a miracle. The unexpected act of kindness had given her a new lease on life. But the next day, Ivy was in for an even bigger surprise. This Thanksgiving was not just a random act of kindness by a thoughtful neighbor. I got all my containers to take them down to my new friend and went down there and knocked Hello. on the door and there was no answer and I looked through the windows and the place was absolutely dark and not one piece of furniture in there. I mean even today I get goosebumps when I think back on just seeing that empty, empty apartment and I was like, whoa, uh oh something's going on here. Shocked and confused, Ivy immediately contacted the apartment manager. Yeah, what can I do for you? And I go, where's the little old lady that was in that apartment? 15's been vacant for 10, 12 weeks now. And I said to him, no, you don't understand. I had dinner there last night, Thanksgiving dinner. 
And he gave oh, me this understand. weird look, I like maybe I should be in an institution day. or a hospital. Ivy, are you feeling okay? And I can remember just looking at him, absolutely knowing that a miracle had happened in my life. And I just thanked him, turned around, and walked up those steps to my apartment. Oh, honey, honey, I cooked Thanksgiving dinner for you and the boys. As she returned to her home, Ivy began going over the events of the previous evening in her mind. And suddenly she realized the woman had known personal things about her that she couldn't possibly have known, like her favorite food. <gasps> Potato salad? and the fact that she worked in a doctor's office. Do you like your job at the doctor's office? Yeah, how'd you know? Well, I just know. <laughs> I often wonder why I didn't pick up at the actual dinner that this was an angel. Well, we're gonna have some good food. I think one of the most important things about my dinner with an angel is that out of my 57 years of living on this earth, that one and a half hours of being loved unconditional has changed my life so drastically. Can you imagine what it would be like if us earth angels gave some of that unconditional love away? It can make a total difference. Thank you so much. Bye.